hey, it feels wrong. It feels wrong to waste good food. And so all week we are doing right by leftovers. The idea is to spin them into something new and different and delicious. We are refreshing the odds and ends in your fridge and giving leftovers new life. Kara Westergaard is joining me in the kitchen to kick off our series, I think, actually in the perfect way. And that is to talk about treats, desserts, specifically frosting. When you have oh, frosting left over. Dessert. <laughs> dessert first always. I was just telling Kara, I made one of those fancy cakes for Easter. It was delicious. The frosting was like, I think a lemon white chocolate. And we had a lot left over. All I did is put it between graham cracker, two graham crackers. Right, and that's slices. what people think of as graham crackers yeah. or maybe cake pops, but it's like, the obvious stuff, but people want new ideas, right? New ideas <laughs> to use our leftover frosting. What's right. idea number one? Okay, so I tried to come up with something that was, you know, less obvious. But, um, so idea number one are cookies. You can actually just use your buttercream because you've got butter, you've got sugar. Oh. And you can put that into your recipe and just add some more ingredients. Okay. And make a cookie. Show us how. So we've also got flavoring. So this is also versatile. You can do any flavor of buttercream that you want and it's just gonna give you a new cookie. Okay. Right, so, okay, so I'm starting here. This is just one cup of vanilla buttercream, but really any flavor. Um, I just happen to have a lot of vanilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, then we're just gonna go ahead and add an egg to it. Mm -hmm. And you can cut these recipes down um, if you don't have a whole cup left, if you have just half a cup or something. But okay. I would I would suggest a scale. I love scales, you know. I know you love your scale. And if you just keep mixing this, although it's just gonna take a while on screen, sure. then it will come together. But then we're just gonna add some vanilla. So you're always adding vanilla no matter the flavor? I am, yes, because you've got extra ingredients that you wanna help amplify. Okay. So you wanna make sure that you are adding you know, flavor to all of it. Yeah. Um, and then we're also going to, if your buttercream is less sugary than some, then you're gonna wanna add a little bit of sugar. Okay. So some buttercreams though are like really high in sugar Loaded. and you don't need to add the extra okay. sugar. Although it's all up to you I'm and impressed preference. I'm by this creativity here. Anything <laughs> else going into that? So that, if you just mix that, it will come together. It uh -huh. doesn't like my whisk right now, but if you use your beaters. Um, and then we're just gonna over here, put that aside and we've got flour, uh -huh. super quick. Sa flour, salt, okay. baking soda, uh -huh. and baking powder. Soda and powder? Yeah, soda and powder, powder because they both have a different job. In cookies, you don't want to have just baking soda because that's going to give you too strong of a flavor. Okay. Um, I, I don't prefer baking soda in anything. So, mm. <laughs> but baking, but in cookies, baking soda gives a quick rise and then a fall, which helps give you a chew in your cookie. Okay. So if you do want to go the route of like a sugar cookie um, kind of effect here with just your vanilla, mm -hmm. then I would say replace the baking soda with all baking powder and that'll help give it a more of a fluff. So the baking powder gives you a slow and steady rise. Look and so it just gives you different reactions. Okay. But, um, we so, love when people get nerdy. Right. That's a compliment I about know, their that's cooking. That's my favorite thing. No, that is. Geek out in the kitchen. <laughs> we admire it. We do. Why? Why does everything work this way? You know. Okay, so we've got those together. It's really easy. Then just we're going to combine. combine them. I won't mm -hmm. do that today because that didn't come together quite yet. Um, but then when you do, just um, barely combine. You don't want to overmix. Mm -hmm. So then I want you to get creative with what you can add in because that's going to help give volume to your cookie. Okay. Um, so that it has a nice yeah. visual effect, but also it's yummy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's good. So I kept this really basic with just vanilla because I was going to roll it in my um, strawberry sugar here. Oh, how fun. And so, yeah, and all this is is freeze dried strawberries and I just ground it up in my baby bullet, you know, uh -huh. and then just combined it with some sugar. So you'd roll the dough in that before you bake? Uh-huh, just oh, like you would a fun. snickerdoodle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna roll that and then um, cookie scoop to help. Scoop it out for yes. even placement. Yep. Yes, and then I would chill these. Okay. Chill them in the fridge and then bake them at 350 and it depends on the size of your cookie ball, but I would also make sure that you're doing like a, a tester yeah. in the oven, put one cookie through instead of a whole pan through. To make sure we're... To make sure your oven is at the right temperature for you, you we know. We just made cookies out of frosting. We did, That's and they're amazing. so fun. So okay. over here I have um, cinnamon. Yeah. So I just took this vanilla recipe and I added cinnamon chips and okay. cinnamon sugar like a snickerdoodle, and uh -huh. it's so good. And then here, also vanilla, but it was this purple. 
Oh, purple oh, vanilla okay. that I used yeah. for her wedding. And yeah. then I turned them into, I mean, it was already purple, so let's add yeah. some sprinkles, because yeah. that's fun. Um, and then over here, I had chocolate buttercream, and I made chocolate crinkles with How fun, Kara. chocolate chips in it. All right, two other quick ideas. We've got about a minute that we can do with yes. leftover frosting. First, you say you can make fudge. Yes, and I love these because they're so quick and easy that you barely need a recipe. Yeah. So on here, we just have, I had some lime buttercream, and I added... You know, any flavor again though, any flavor is gonna be great. Lime buttercream, about half its weight in cream cheese and then fold it with some Cool Whip. And that's for a fruit dip? That's fruit dip, yes. Okay, and then the fudge? And so here I just took the buttercream and then added um, chocolate to it. So you can add white chocolate for whatever is complementing the flavor buttercream that you're using or uh -huh. you can use um, you know, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you're using. Yeah. Um, and then I can, you can roll it in powdered sugar or dip it. And I just think that the truffles are so like fun yeah. for parties and you know obviously good for entertaining. I think that's better during the year. Uh -huh. It makes a fudge is what it makes, fudge. Okay. But like it's not the holidays. So right. Right. we're gonna make it trendier into a truffle and that's so good for parties. And like quickly, out of buttercream, yes. you have a party. Look at you, three different recipes to use that <laughs> leftover frosting. Kara, thank you, thank you so yeah. much. No need to throw it out, best part of the cake. Yes. Now it becomes a cookie and a dip and fudge or truffles, if you want to call them that. Where can we get more fun ideas from you, Kara? I am on Instagram at Balsamic Baker. Balsamic Baker Online. Thank you again for kicking off the series. We'll link you over to her website from ours, studio5.ksl.com. Just click on the food tab, the recipe tab at the top of your screen, and you'll find not only all of the recipes shared, but all of those connection links to the guests and the chefs and the cooks that you see here every day on Studio 5.